Welcome back guys, today we have a special guest in town, which is the all new 2023 Hyundai Palisade. It's a brand new mid-size luxury SUV with three row seats, and it's a direct competitor to other SUVs in its category, such as the 2023 Nissan Pathfinder, the Ford Explorer, the Chevrolet Travis, and the Honda Pilot. If you have noticed it already, this Palisade is a whole new refreshed facelift from the outgoing model, which is the 2022 Hyundai Palisade. Honestly, I truly love this new redesigned front fascia, which makes this new Palisade look more sharp and more distinctive other than the older outgoing model, which looks weird and kind of dull. Well, at first, I thought this previous generation look would grow on me in time, but no, it never actually did. But this time, this all-new Palisade will definitely make it up with its beautiful new look. Which I can't tell you enough how I really love these new headlights, along with the daytime running LEDs, and so is this beautiful and massive grille, which looks absolutely stunning. So yeah, it's far more sophisticated and a big step up from the previous 2022 Palisade model. You can pause the video now so you can read the details about the new Hyundai Palisade and be sure to see the total price at the bottom. To tell the truth, I'm not really sure which trim level this Palisade is called, but it looks pretty obvious that it's a premium package, which is supposed to have all of the class-leading features that this trim level has to offer. You may pause here for a bit so you can read the fuel card. To be honest, this new Palisade is Hyundai's masterpiece in all areas, with some beautiful body lines and its overall design, but like I said earlier, it's just a facelift model, which hasn't completely changed from the previous model. I truly love these vertical LED taillights with these tasteful and brushed silver trim attached right next to them and I also love this big Palisade branding placed right in the center of the lift gate which is very nice. This package has up to four or five cameras in total so you can see around your position in 360 degrees field of view on the infotainment touch screen. And I also love these squared shapes exhaust tips, and not only that, but there are actually real pipes, which are not fake at all. But I really wish if they tucked the window wiper underneath the roof spoiler to make the whole back look more modern and professional. I don't know what this H-Track really means. Well, maybe it's a type of engine or whatnot, but it's definitely a 3.8 liter engine, indeed. So let us know your thoughts down in the comments about this new refreshed Palisade. As for my close friends, I beg of you, please don't send your comments through WhatsApp. Just leave them all in the comment section. Only if you care about growing my channel. Let's see the Bridgestone tires now, and the size are 245 on the width, 50 series sidewall, and 20 inches. I absolutely love this machine aluminium design which looks so futuristic and stunning. And also, this LED turning indicator looks beautiful as well. Now let's see what goodies this vehicle is offering inside the front seat. Starting off with this door panel, which looks so beautiful, with all these premium and soft materials, along with this tasteful looking wood trim, very nice. And of course, some nice and soft leather, with some brushed metal trim on the door handle, which so exquisite and beautiful. One drawback here though, is that the door pocket is not really that big, but not so small at the same time. However, this speaker cover looks very beautiful. Even this welcoming silver step-in, with a Palisade branding in it, is very tasteful, and I love this design. And let's not forget about the leather seats, which are fully electric assist for more ergonomic adjustments. There's also a giant screen mounted on the dash, which we'll get into that in a few moments. And there's also a big storage under the center console, and it has a 12 volt and USB ports as well. 
Once you get inside, the first thing you'll see is the overall dash, which looks absolutely phenomenal, as well as the steering wheel, which makes me want to buy this Palisade today, and even the all digital gauge cluster looks so modern. And on top of that, this package has a head-up display, which is not always found in most SUVs in this trim level. Keep feasting your eyes on this redesigned dash, which looks a lot better than the previous model's dash, and I'll keep feasting mine on this beautiful and tasteful looking door panel. Still though, I can't turn my eyes away from this beautiful dash because it has lots of wood and some other soft materials on it, as well as these tasteful brushed silver lines crossing in parallel the whole dash, creating long horizontal slots, which having these AC vents integrated in them. And as I mentioned about the screen earlier, it's a 12.3 inch infotainment touch screen, which is absolutely huge, but I wish if they left the battery connected so I can show you a quick tour while playing around with the touch screen. But the big surprise is that this big storage has multiple features, like for example, a wireless phone charging pad, USB ports, and two cup holders, but also you can extend the storage capacity by putting away the cup holders so you can put even bigger items in there. Very nice and practical. And not only that, but also this infotainment system supports wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well, which is a huge plus. Even this big storage contains a 12 volt and USB ports, which is more practical and convenient. This beautiful mirror also contains not only auto dimming feature, but if you look closely, it also contains an LED screen, so you can have a much better rear visibility when backing up in reverse, which is very helpful and more convenient. And surprisingly, this Palisade has two sunroofs, a regular sunroof for the front seat and a panoramic sunroof for the second and third row seats, which is amazing. Now let's jump into the back. Continuing with the back door panel, which is beautiful as the front door panels, but this one has added more items, such as two cup holders for each side and manual sunshades, but I wish if they were electric shades instead. Even this small speaker grille looks as tasteful as the front ones, very nice. Another drawback, but this one is even worse, because this door pocket is most likely inexistent, but this speaker cover looks nice. And so is this beautiful, welcoming step and plate. And as you're watching this video so far, please subscribe to my channel, thank you so much. As you can see here, this legroom is very spacious, which is perfect. There's a lot of items worth mentioning in the back and third row seats, such as a 12 volt with 180 watt fast charging port and a separate climate control panel with cooling and heated seats controls are included and of course some reading lights along with ceiling vents as well. With my personal score, I give it a 9 out of 10 for the beautiful looks, practicality and convenience, except for the lack of the back door pockets, which is very disappointing. Also, an armrest with two more cup holders in the middle of the second row. Moving on to the third row seat, which has more USB ports, more ceiling vents, and more cup holders, and even the legroom is nice and roomy. And finally, a cargo storage, which is a bit of a lackluster when the third row seat is not folded. And that wraps it up for this review. So if you enjoyed my blabbering like always, please hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel as it'll help a lot to grow. And finally, be sure to watch more videos at the last 10 seconds of this video's end screen. So yeah, until then, have a good one.